Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to our lecturer Miss Jolin Norshimi binti Hashim lecturer for subject MGT 345 Operation Management In this video, our group will present about the case study for Coal Engineering Company Before we start, this group will consist with 5 members including myself, Muhammad Izri Fitri bin Muhammad Kamarun Nizam Muhammad Azri Nazmi bin Muhammad Ridaini Muhammad Fahim bin Subli, Muhammad Aiman Fitri bin Zainuddin and lastly Ahmad Hafizi bin Zuki. Before we go through all the plan strategy, I will explain about this case study first. In this case, our group will develop an aggregate planning for cool engineering company from January until June for its refrigerator production. After we do all the plan strategy, we will give a recommendation which one is the best plan between plan 1 until plan 4 for cool engineering company. At last, we will explain why the plan that we choose is the best for cool engineering company. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Iman Fitri Bey Zainuddin. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about plan 1, the employee. Okay, the demand from January to June the total is 3,650. Okay, for the required worker from January to June, the total is 93 worker. Okay, for the current worker, the number is increasing from January to June. Uh, that's it, the total 83. Okay, now we move to hiring. Okay. For the hiring, at January is 2 worker and February is 3. For March, 1 only. For April, we have 4. And for May, we have 2. Okay, at June, there's no hiring stated. Okay, the total of all the month of hiring is 12. Okay, move to firing layoff. Okay, for the June, there are two firing layoff. Okay, now we move to standard output per worker per month. Okay, the formula is working hour times working days divided by standard output rate. Okay, as we can see, 8 hours times 60 minutes per 240 minutes. And times 20 days. Okay, we get 40 unit. Okay, now we move to total cost. The total of all, total cost is 175,840 ringgit. Okay, how do we get it? Okay, the first one is at the regular time level. Okay, that's RM20 ringgit. Divided by hour uh, equal to... 3650 times 8 hours divided by 4 hours times 12 ringgit and we get 87,600 ringgit okay for the hiring cost 12 workers times RM40 ringgit and we get RM480 ringgit okay the laying out cost okay 2 workers times RM80 ringgit, we get RM180 ringgit. Hi and Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Fahim and I'm going to talk about the plan 2 which is the constant workforce of 10 workers. Okay, so the total for number of workers for 6 months which is from January up to June is 16 workers and for the forecasted demand, we have the total of 3650 which is add up from January until the June. For unit produce, we produce the constant amount which is 400 every month. Yeah, that's bring up the total to 2,400 units. And for the uh, excess or shortage, for January and February, we don't have any uh, shortage but we have the excess which is 250 for January and 150 for February. For March, we have zero for both which is shortage and excess. For April, May and June, we have a shortage of 300 for April, 400 for May and 300 for June. 
So the ending inventory will be 250 for January and February we have 150. For the OT, we have 300 for April, 400 for May and 300 for June. That's bring up to total of 1000. Okay, now for the standard output unit. Okay, the formula for standard output unit is working hour, time by working days, time for number of worker and divided by the standard output rate. So, the standard output rate is 4 hours. So, 8 hours times 20 days times 10 workers and divided by 4 hours. We get the total of 400 units of standard output. Okay. Okay, last we have total cost. We got 194,400 ringgit. How do we get that? First, we calculated the wages, which is 8 hours times 20 days times 10 workers times 12 times 6. So we get the amount of 115,200 ringgit. Second, we calculate the OT, which is 4 hours times 18 times 1000 units. So we get 72,000 ringgit. So lastly, we have the inventory holding cost, which is 400 times 8 divided by the refrigerator and divided by months, we get 3,200 ringgit. That means if we add it all, we got the 190,400 ringgit total cost. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azri Nasmi bin Muhammad Rilani. Now, I will continue with plan number 3. In plan number 3, we will use very over time allowing stock up and also constant workforce of 10 worker. Based on the data above, we can see that the information is still remain the same as on the plan number 2. But in this plan, we will put the limit of overtime. The limit of overtime we put here is 200 unit. So for April, May and June, we will put the limit overtime 200 unit for each month so the total of this three month will be 600 unit next we need to find the stock out to find the stock out we need to subtract the shortage with OT for April 300 minus 200 we get 100 for May 400 minus 200 we get 200 and for June 300 minus 200 we get 100 so the total of stock out for this three month is 400 unit now we go to the standard output unit the standard output unit is still remain the same as before on the plan number two the formula for the standard output unit is working hour time working days time number of worker and divided by standard output rate so 8 hours times 20 days times 10 worker and divided by 4 hours, we will get the standard output unit is 400 units. Lastly, we need to calculate the total cost. In this total cost, we need to find the total of wages, OT, inventory holding cost and stock out. For the regular wages, 8 hours times 20 days times 10 worker times 12 times 6 and we will get the 115,200 ringgit for OT 4 hours time 18 ringgit times 600 units and we will get the 72,000 ringgit next we have inventory holding cost which is 400 times 8 ringgit times refrigerator times month and we will get the 3,200 ringgit Lastly, we need to find the stock out To find the stock out 400 times 2 60 ringgit And we get the 24,000 ringgit After that, we added all the information And find the total cost of plan number 3 is 185,600 ringgit Assalamualaikum and hi my name is Ahmad Hafizi and I'm going to brief or explain about the plan 4, the last plan which is subcontracting. As stated on the table above, the total number of workers from January until June is remain the same which is 60 workers. 
The beginning inventory is 250 for January and February and 150 for March. The total forecasted demand and unit produce also remain the same. 3650 for total forecasted demand and 2400 for unit produce. For the excess or shortage, in January, we have an excess of 250 and 150 for February. In March, there is no excess or shortage. In April, we have a shortage of 300. 400 and 300 next is for May and June. Next, we have the total ending inventory of 400, 250 in January and 150 in February. For OT, we have set up the limit which is 250. So, in April, May and June, the OT is 250 for each and total for the 3 months is 750. The total number of subcontracting of April, May and June is 250. 50 for April, 150 for May and 50 for June. Next, the standard output unit. The formula of standard output unit is working hours times working days times number of workers and divide by standard output rates. So working hours which is 8 hours times working days which is 20 and number of workers which is 10 and divide by the standard output rates of 4 hours. Then we get the total of 400 units. Last, we will calculate the total cost. Firstly, we will calculate the wages. 8 hours times 20 days times 10 workers times 12 and times 6. So we get the total wages of RM 115,200. Second, we will calculate the OT. 4 hours times RM 18 and times 750 units. 750 units is the total OT of 3 months which is 250 for April, 250 for May and 250 for June. So we get the total OT of RM 54,000. Next, we'll calculate the inventory holding cost. 400 times 8 ringgit per refrigerator per month and we get the total of RM 3200. Lastly, we we'll calculate the subcontracting. 250 times RM80. 250 is the total amount of subcontracting of 3 months. 50 for April, 150 for May, and 50 for June. And we get the total subcontracting of RM20,000. If we add up all other amount of this, we get the total cost for this plan, which is RM. 192,400 Based on the all plan that our group present, we have decided to choose plan 1 as the best plan for cool engineering company because it has the lowest total cost than other plans which is RM175,840 Under this plan, the organizations will produce exactly based on demand Highest and laying off of production workers will be used to match the production rate with demand and the organization will incur hiring and lay off costs. Why we not recommend other plans to this company? We not recommend other plans because it has a limit of overtime. If the overtime is more than limit, the cost will be higher. For subcontracting plan, it can be costly and the quality of product is difficult to ensure the timely delivery to the customer. If the quality is low, more cost will expand by the company. At the end of the day, varying workforce strategy is the best aggregate planning than constant workforce strategy. I think that's all from us for this case study presentation. Thank you so much to our lecturer, Ms. Jolene Norshimi Binti Hashim, 
for giving a guideline to us to complete this assignment. I hope this presentation will give all the information about this case study. I think that's all from us. Thank you so much and have a nice day.